The future of law enforcement is here in pinball form with RoboCop from Data East, released in 1989. Welcome to Classic Game Room, where I'm reviewing a pinball machine based on one of the greatest movies of all time. It's RoboCop from Data East. OCP, Omni Consumer Products in the house. That's right, from design team number 28, as well as Rob Quinn and the Cybernetic Love Commandos, comes this fast-paced, fun machine based on RoboCop. Murphy, it's you. Okay. Assuming you've seen RoboCop at least a dozen times, you know that movie has no shortage of great one-liners, and this pinball machine finds a way to use all of them. in the game to kind of play it. Okay. Your move, creep. Look at that f***ing gun. Most of the RoboCop video games that I've played are pretty disappointing compared to the sheer awesomeness of RoboCop, but this pinball machine does it justice. It's really well made. Very cool, extremely fun, and it sounds incredible thanks in part to its futuristic digital stereo, which does not disappoint. Digital stereo, because regular stereo just wouldn't cut it. Robocop requires digital stereo. Dick Jones, you are under arrest. Dick Jones! Dick f you! Dick? Dick Jones is a dick! And like picking a fist fight with Robocop, this game is extremely challenging. Bitches leave! Robocop is so challenging it requires the headband. I want the SUX 9000 up in here. Yes! Multi ball! Robocop multi ball. Now my life is complete. We've established it sounds good and it's a lot of fun, but it also looks great. The play field has all kinds of cool things from the movie on it, including Ed 209, the Prime Directives, Toxic Waste, and Delta City. Not to mention a sweet it's jump right here. in the middle of the game. Goes up the ramp and then jumps all the way over here. If you miss the jump, it is, of course, extremely disappointing, like drowning in toxic waste. Oh, one of my favorite parts of this game is the fact it's impossible to play without quoting and reenacting Robocop the whole time. That was built in by the radioactive. That was a meal, right? Yeah. Later that day, we were joined by internationally renowned pinball player and One Direction fan, Bowen Karens, who rocked the Robocop pinball machine like it was his fourth directive. Yes! Somebody should tell him to refrain from dancing in videos, it makes him look ridiculous. This is some awesome music. Like the real thing, when you're getting your ass kicked by Robocop, it's fun because it's Robocop. Like when he's stabbing you in the neck with that thing that comes out of his hand, it's just awesome. Even if it hurts a lot. Take that, Boddicker. Take the thing that goes. Oh, 
I dare you to not have a good time while playing RoboCop. It's impossible. This machine is a recipe for rad, like having a blah punked installed in your SUX 9000 or a TJ Laser Marathon. It's based on an awesome movie, and it's fun. Period. Oh, yeah! Yeah. There are several things missing though, like anyone doing coke off of hookers, the Ford Taurus. This doesn't have the OCP Ford Taurus though. I always like that. And it needs more references to the SUX 9000. Your first, second, and third directives are to have fun. How do so many other movie-based pinball machines suck, yet this one is so good? It's the power of OCP. Yeah, this machine rocks, and a big thanks to Mark, Bowen, Kevin, and everyone at PAPA, the Professional and Amateur Pinball Association, which maintains this awesome machine. I wouldn't just buy it for a dollar, I'd pay two. Was that the bass? Oh, sweet jackpot music. That movie was so bad. Thank you for your cooperation. Good night.